Hello YouTube, this is Lorena. I'm going to be doing a really quick nail tutorial. I just purchased the Sally Hansen Salon Effects. Please forgive me if the dogs are running around. I'm at my parents' house and my dog is having the time of her life with my brother's dogs. But anyways, um, I purchased 230 skinny jeans nail polish strips and I'm just going to try putting them on for the first time and kind of go through that. So anyways, let me start. instruction sheet here and it says uh, start with clean dry nails my nails are pretty clean pretty dry push um, back the cuticle with the wooden stick that comes with it and the wooden stick has two edges one is a flat edge like an angled edge and one is a pointy edge and so with the angled edge I'm just gonna push back my cuticles and then it says shape free edge of nail with hot pink side of file and my nail is pretty shaped the way I like it. So, And then it says gently smooth surface of nails with gray side of file. And I have a white side and two pink sides. So I'm just going to assume that they mean the gray side. So I'm going to do that. And then it says give nails one last swipe of nail color remover to remove any excess dirt or oil. And it says this step is extremely important. It helps your manicure last longer. Ensure there is no creamy or oily residue left behind. So we're moving all of that. Use warm hands for flexibility and stretch. Luckily we are in Texas and it is hot as hot. <laughs> okay, um, opening this little package. Okay, I had to stop the video because it took me like three minutes to open the little package. But we got it open. It says select best fitting strip for each nail. I'm going to do this nail, so I'm using this strip. Remove clear protective plastic cover, then peel nail polish strip from backing paper. Okay, here's the clear one, and then peel nail polish strip from backing Okay, when it says remove the backing paper, it means this little gray part, so you can take the backing paper off. Okay. Now it says, choose the side of the strip that best fits the shape of your cuticles. Break silver tab from strip. I feel like that should have been done before, but whatever. Okay, and I think I like this side. Okay, so place strip against cuticle line. Yeah, hold strip at the center for maximum control. That helps a lot. I thought this was going to be like super easy, but I'm just competent when it comes to nails. Okay, press strip to nail. Gently stretch strip for perfect fit. So, okay, then you just kind of smooth it over the nail. It says run flat side of cuticle stick along edge to firmly bond strip to nail. I already like am like so in love with this nail. Like it's the coolest freaking nail I've ever seen. Okay, smooth excess over nail edge. Forming a crease around the edge of the nail. So you just kind of like wrap it around your nail. And then gently file away excess with using the light pink side. So I think that's just how you end up removing it. See how it's kind of coming off? And then it says you can just take it off with nail polish remover. But if you're inept at nail polish like I am, I just have this really bad habit at always wanting to immediately touch something as soon as I have wet nail polish on. I 
I think I could have done a better job at stretching this over. But there you go, there's one now, and I will do the rest and show you how the finished product looks. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this is the finished product. I'm really, really loving these nail polish strips. I highly recommend them. They're not 100% foolproof, but they're really easy to use, and hopefully these last as long as they say they will. And what I really like about them is that they're... I'm done. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I don't have to like wait three hours for something to dry. So I really like these and I will be posting an update on my blog as far as longevity. So Sally Hansen nail polish strips. Skinny Jean.